My name is Sheila Elliott and I'm the founder of BSS Management Consultancy. Thank you for visiting this website. Today I'm going to just give you a basic introduction of how you can be successfully for public sector contracts. I have been coaching small businesses on how to do this successfully and I'm sure you could benefit from my wisdom. It, is, it can be a very challenging process to try and be successfully for public sector contract very often because the process is formal and there's a lot of form filling and questionnaires that you have to put together and submit to the public sector body and you've got to know how to approach these questionnaires and forms that you are requested to submit. I always advise small businesses that the first thing they need to know is that the public sector buyer acts and think differently from the private sector buyers. And so it's important you understand the psychology of the public sector market. How do they think? How do they behave? What matters to them? Because the degree to which you understand all of these things will determine how best you put together your bid to influence them to select you as one of their partners. So here are some of the critical pointers that you have to be in mind when you're bidding. Public sector buyers will normally look for evidence of safety, reliability, appropriateness, accountability, personal contacts, and value for money. All of this means that the public sector buyers are low risk buyers. So you need a system that will save you a lot of time so that you can quickly identify the potential opportunities that you can win and invest your time and your money bidding for those contracts. Very often, small businesses do not have a system and as a result, they go off chasing a lot of aspirational opportunities as I like to put it. You have to know that the public sector buyers are always looking for evidence. Think evidence. If there's one thing you have to know, is that all throughout the process of writing your bid, you have to put together evidence. Evidence that you have done it, evidence that you have submitted contracts, um, deliver contracts successfully, evidence of everything. Because they are low risk buyers. So, here is my nine golden steps that I will normally share with people who come to me and ask for advice. The first thing you have to remember is this. You have to ask yourself a salient question. Am I the most suitable person or suitable business to be delivering this contract opportunity? Because if you're not, you're wasting your time. So you have to ask yourself questions like, does my company deliver this particular product at the moment or this particular service? The next step is you have to demonstrate know-how and track record, which means that you have to demonstrate that you have been delivering this particular service or product successfully and you have to give names of organizations that you have done so for successfully. These are organizations that could give you reference, very good references. The third step is that you have to demonstrate that you are a superior quality supplier compared to other competitors, which means you have to find a way of differentiating yourself in the market. One thing you have to know is that public sector contract opportunities are always oversubscribed. And as a result of that, there's always the potential for everybody to be saying the same thing. So you've got to distinguish yourself on paper. The fourth point you need to know is this. You've got to demonstrate that you have the resource capacity to deliver the particular contract opportunity that you're going for. It's no use to say that you can deliver. You have to show track record that you've done so, yes. But you've got to, you've got to show evidence that you have the right for workforce or the right partnership to deliver successfully. So things like awards, competencies, like their qualification, number of years of experience are all important. The degree to which you can show that 
these workers or these partners are reliable will determine how fast you get into the supply chain for public sector contract opportunities. You've got to write as many evidence on paper because the most important thing you have to remember at the initial stage is that you're selling your company. The fifth point is that you have to demonstrate that you can provide quality. It's one thing to say that you have the track record. It's another thing to say you have resources. But it's quite another thing to say that you have the quality that they're looking for. Which means understanding their key performance indicators, the buyer's key performance indicators will be very, very important in the way you put your bids together. You want to use the same language as they are using. So you want to say something that you have delivered um, the, the contracts successfully and you've met X number of performance indicators similar to the ones that they are looking for. So that there's an element of research questions that you have to ask the buyers so that you know how to put your bids together successfully. Put, put it this way, it's all about research, it's all about the language, and it's all about the determination to get them. The sixth point is this. You've got to de demonstrate that you have policies. Public sector organizations will ask you for policies like health and safety policies, equal opportunity policies, environmental policies, and quality assurance policies. And by the way, it's not enough to say you have these policies. You have to demonstrate that they have been used effectively in the processes and the systems you have in place to deliver quality. The seventh point is that you need to demonstrate financial strength, which means you have to comply with what is known as the proportionality rule. Your turnover should be, um, your, the contract you go for should not exceed 25% of your turnover. And you have to demonstrate that your, organi your organization or your business is profitable. This does not always apply to all contract opportunities, but in many cases, this will apply. The eighth point you have to remember is this. The people involved in your business has to be above board, and that includes you. They will ask questions about criminal offences. If it's a criminal offence that you've spent, you have to answer the, give them the honest answer, and you've got to tell them that it's been spent. Anything that will create problems in the future, they want to know. So criminal offence is something that you need to answer those questions. If you ignore the question, they assume you have something and they bring your document. Last but not least, when you put your bid together, you've got to check that all the relevant documentation that they ask for, you have presented. If you fail to present any documentation that they asked, your contract opportunity is gone because basically your document will be being. By that I mean it will be set aside. It will not be taken forward. So with all of this put together, you now have a summary of what it is that makes for an effective winning bid. Obviously there's a lot of details behind all the pointers that I've given you. And if you need some support, please contact us at businessservicessupport.com. You can send me an email. My email is Sheila at businessservicessupport.com. But if by any chance you do this and you still do not win a contract, there is another option. The option is called the subcontracting strategies. Like it or not, the public sector always have very big contracts and they will not award this contract to small businesses. So they will go to bigger organizations but bigger organizations are always looking for small businesses to deliver on those contracts. So what you need to do is to look for the main suppliers, or local authorities, for the NHS, for the Education Department, the Defense Department, you name it, any public organization, arts and associations, and then approach them and ask for opportunities. That's how a lot of small businesses get themselves into the supply chain market. So if you need assistance with finding these big organizations that have one contract, we have reports on our website. You simply need to go to www.businessservicessupport.com.